Hey everybody, Brandon here from Cat Intentions, and in today's Two Minute Tuesday slash Tuesday Tip video, uh, I'm gonna be walking through how to use the end copy or nested copy command in AutoCAD. Uh, if you want to read a little bit more about the command, make sure you check out my Tuesday Tip article on the AutoCAD blog. I'll put a link in the description below. Uh, let's get going. <laughs> So I'm going to try and keep this short. I probably won't make the two minutes, but I never do. Uh, so let's take a look at end copy or nested copy. You can see in my example drawing, the same one I've used in the AutoCAD blog article, that I have an XREF here on the left. And this is what might be a completed drawing of yours. It might be the base drawing or simply a drawing you're using to get a, an outline of a floor plan uh, or steel objects from uh, if you're into civil works it could be a lot layout and you're working on utilities and maybe you just need the xref uh, to see your lots behind the uh, sanitary or water lines that you're uh, designing in any case the nested copy command allows you to grab objects line work text from a nested object like an XREF, where normally you can't select these lines and text individually. With NCopy, you'll be able to select one and bring it into your current drawing. You can also use this on blocks, uh, which can be super, super helpful if you want to grab text from them or just the object itself. Um, in our example, we're going to grab this living room text from the XREF. So when I select it, you can see we have an external reference. I'm going to hit escape and I'm going to use the ncopy command. So N C O P Y and hit enter. It's going to ask me to select the nested objects that I would like to copy. So the one downside, and I'm going to show a couple other options in this video, but the one downside to ncopy is that it's kind of slow if you need a bunch of the objects. So in our case, we're only grabbing this text because in the example I explained in the blog post, we only want to copy kind of the style and size and um, say layer of this text and use it to label some of our rooms over here. So I'm going to select my object and then when you've got the objects you want to copy selected, hit enter and it's gonna ask you for a base point. I'm going to use the default, which will be 000, by hitting enter twice. You can also choose a base point and copy your object to a different location or the same location. So I'm going to hit enter for displacement, and I'm going to leave it at 000, so there's no displacement, and hit enter. And that's all there is. Now this object is in our drawing, but if we move it, you can see that we haven't affected the external reference at all. It's simply made a copy and brought it into our drawing. So now we can move it over here. We can change it so that it says uh, master bedroom. And there, now we've got that text, which I had already done up here, brought in from our external reference. Now I'm going to show you guys another method. So let's say I want to grab all of these uh, lighting objects. So to do that, we, there are a bunch of ways, one of which uh, we can open the XREF. We can now go into the XREF here and select what we'd like to copy. So I'm going to select those objects, right click and say select similar. And in this case, we're going to use the copy with base point command, which you can use uh, by holding control and shift down and hitting C. You can see it starts the command at the bottom here and it's going to ask for a base point. Again, we're going to use 000. I'm going to type in 0, 0, 0 and hit enter. That's all we need to do there. We can now close our XREF or just go back to our other drawing. And now that we're in our drawing, we're going to use contr hold control down and hit V to paste. And we're going to use that same insertion point that we used as a base point. So we're going to use zero comma zero comma zero. And now you can see it's brought all of these line objects into our drawing. 
So we're gonna select them similar again and move. So now you can see we have all of the electrical objects in our drawing and they haven't been affected in here. You can close the XREF, don't save it, and nothing's changed to your XREF, but we've got all of these, these uh, line objects in our drawing now. So in the third example now, I'm gonna show you how we can bring in all of the line work and objects from our XREF uh, quickly into the drawing and use them as we like. Maybe you wanna use most of them, maybe you just wanna save time by having everything inserted into your drawing or copied into your drawing right away. Uh, so to start, I'm gonna remove this XREF uh, to make it a little easier and it's also gonna let the insert command work for us. So in your external reference uh, tab here, we can right click on it and just detach it for now. You can always add it in later, uh, but this will just skip you a step later. So to start the insert command, you're gonna hit I, you're gonna click on the browse button here, and you're gonna wanna go to the folder where you have your XREF or uh, example drawing, whatever you'd like to bring in to steal objects and line work from, maybe to reuse them to save you some time on your second or third drawing in a set. We're gonna choose our drawing and then select open. If you've got, if you've been using uh, an insertion point of zero, zero, meaning all of your stuff is relative to each other or geo-referenced, then you can uncheck this and it will place it automatically with the base point of zero, zero, which we have been using uh, in this example. In other cases, you can check the box to place your uh, drawing object somewhere in your drawing. We're also going to uncheck explode for now, and I'll show you that we can explode it in the next step, uh, but in some cases it's a little cleaner and easier to leave it as a single uh, block to start. So we're gonna hit okay. And you can see we've now got, similar to our XREF, we've got our base drawing, but now it's a block. Uh, and if we bring up the properties, you can see we have a block reference now. Now you can use the nested copy command again to bring in single objects, uh, or in our case, maybe we wanna use a handful of them. We're gonna select our block reference and just type in explode. And now you can see we have all of the line objects in our drawing available to reuse in maybe our second floor plan or just another building plan uh, that's using similar symbols and line work. It's also brought in uh, the layers, like the lighting layer here, as well as all of the blocks uh, within the drawing. You can see this is a dynamic block here. So there you have it. That's three easy ways to copy or import uh, objects, line work text into your drawing, depending on how many of the objects you wanna bring in, as well as the setup and situation of your drawings. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you leave a comment below letting me know what you guys would like to hear uh, or see uh, in future videos. As always, thanks for watching and have a good one. Cheers. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to check out my last video right here. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe up here to make sure you're up to date and you see all my new videos. Thanks again. Cheers.